Nope. Nope, no good. Well, looks like it's time to invest in a super wide angle lens for my camera. I've been put off because they're so expensive, but is there an alternative? Let's find out. Now, I love my Micro Four Thirds cameras, but there's a downside when it comes to wide angle lenses. There's not many options available out there, and that's down to the two times crop factor. Now, because every time you put a lens on the Micro Four Thirds system, it's gonna double the focal range. Now, when I'm talking about wide angle, I'm talking about like the super wide angle lenses, the equivalent on a full frame of a 14, 15, or maybe even a 16 millimeter lens. So to achieve that, you're gonna to need to find a seven or an eight millimeter lens to go on the, the Micro Four Thirds camera. Now, I'm not talking about fisheye lenses, that's something completely different, just normal, normal standard lenses. Now, there's not many options. In fact, there's about four serious options, but I have got an alternative for you. But let's just have a quick look what is out there available now so first of all, you have the Panasonic 7-14mm f4 lens, and that's £739, you've got the Olympus 7-14mm, now that's an f2.8 lens, but that's a whopping £1,139 for that lens. So both expensive lenses. Um, now if you can sacrifice also focus, you can look at these manual focus options. So you've got the Lauer 7.5mm f2 lens, now that's still £499 for a fully manual lens. And then you've got the Koa Premonar um, 8.5mm f2.8 lens, um, but that's £600 as well. So none of these are cheap, but I have got an alternative option for you. Now what if I could tell you that you're going to get a 7.1mm lens, you should get, um, f3.5, full autofocus, um, and this so you can got image stabilisation in the lens as well, and that's going to be all under around £300. Now it does come with a warning, and the warning is you're going to need one of these. You're going to need a hacksaw, because we are going to be hacksawing a lens. And the lens we're going to be hacksawing is this Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, now it's a 10 to 18 millimeter f 4.5 lens. Now I know what you're thinking. If I put that onto a micro four thirds camera with an adapter, it's going to give me a 20 millimeter lens but we're going to be using a little secret ingredient here which is the Viltrox EFS stroke M2 adapter and this has got a focal reducer in it so not only is the autofocus still going to work with the, with the contacts but it's also got a focal reducer in here which means it's going to reduce the focal range down by 0.71 times so if you do the maths correctly about 10 millimeters should be around 7.1 millimeters if it works correctly. But there is a downside. This is a EFS lens. So you can do an EF and an EFS mount for the lenses. And the EFS lenses will not fit onto a full frame camera. Um, so this adapter is for a full frame EF mount. So at the moment, these do not fit. But what's stopping them is this little plastic rim here. So that little bit of plastic there is stopping me from mounting the adapter. So the plan is to simply cut this plastic rim away. And that should then work completely. That's a plan anyway. So to do this, you're gonna need the hacksaw, you're gonna need some screwdrivers, you're gonna need two or three little wood screws like this. Um, you're also gonna need some sandpaper and a block of wood. So uh, let's get busy and see if we can get this to, uh, to work. Okay, so first step is to take the plastic cap off this lens. So um, in order to do that, I need to remove some screws. So I need one, two, three, four on the base. And there's also, two very small screws just here holding this electric contact in so i need to remove those screws as well so um to start with okay and now 
just take this up. Right now, let's move back over to one side. And now, Okay, now we're ready for a hacksaw. So it's going to get a bit dirty, so I'm going to take it away from this area somewhere a little bit uh, better. And when I come back, hopefully, all uh, ready to go. Okay, so that's all done. So um, this is exactly what was cut off. It's this middle section here. So all I've done is I've now rubbed that down with a little bit of sandpaper to just get rid of the, uh, the rough edges. And um, I'm now gonna discard that bit and then put it back together. The all important thing is, is that now going to fit with this adapter on? So let's give it a go. Perfect. So that now fits. Let's uh, give it a go, shall we? Okay, so you can see it now 12 millimeters in my existing lens. So that's, uh, you can see it's not quite getting the shot I want. So let's just swap over this lens and then we'll see what difference it makes. So just uh, bear with me. So you can see seven millimeters in the top right hand corner. Just so. Now you can zoom in to eight millimeters just to get rid of that little tiny big netting that's going on at seven millimeters. Now let's look at my F. So I can actually get to F 3.2. So I was expecting three and a half, so it's 3.2, which is even better. So you yeah, get 3.2. At seven millimeters, which is obviously 14 millimeter equivalent. Or if I didn't want that big netting going on, then I'm gonna do 16 millimeters. I'm just checking out the autofocus. Autofocus seems to be working absolutely fine. My image stabilization is turned off for now, which I'm on a tripod. But that does also seem to work absolutely fine as well. So let's just uh, take a shot. So that seems to be working really well. I've now got myself a super wide angle lens for my camera. Um, F3.5, image stabilization, autofocus at seven millimeters. Um, so fantastic results. So if you want to know where to get an adapter like this, then visit www.altphotostore.com where you'll find adapters and products and further videos. So on that videos, I've put together a playlist for you. So follow the playlist uh, link and uh, you'll see more videos like this. Bye for now.